welcome to your October energy update. Astrological and just in the air. I'm Sammy. I want to talk about today. Today is October 9th. Moving into what I like to call the clapback. Okay? Hopefully we're going to see some karmic clapback from Saturn. Saturn comes back direct tomorrow, October 10th, and you will see this. Saturn has been in Aquarius and will stay there for another year or so, year and a half maybe. And it just doesn't feel good, <laughs> right? Saturn is about restrictions, authority, rules, and Aquarius is about freedom. It's ruled by Uranus. It's out there. They're like the aliens of the Zodiac Aquarians, and they want what's best for humanity. They want to move forward. They like progress, uh, progressive ideas and technology, innovation, and they like looking at the whole, um, what's best for everyone, how humanity can move forward. Jupiter is there as well with Saturn, and so that adds sort of a protective layer in some aspects. So Jupiter has been trying to help us, but at the same time, Jupiter can expand whatever it touches. So Jupiter, which is uh, likes to bring knowledge and expansion and, and a blossoming, and growth and opportunity can sometimes with Saturn expand on all of those restrictions so while all of these planets have been in retrograde it just has been so difficult this last month right I mean I know you guys have felt it Mercury especially this Mercury retrograde in Libra is just so much about relationships and social justice and what's fair and trying to find that balance so Pluto came direct on the 6th which was with the new moon in Libra and you can already feel the momentum returning I want to talk about this because if you have been feeling like you were trying to get stuff done and couldn't like one thing after another like you had a really great idea maybe over the summer or over the last couple of months and then there's something in you that feels like you're not doing enough so you think oh that's a good idea I'm gonna do that right now but you can't the universe is like mm, no and it throws stuff in the way and then you don't feel like doing anything you're per procrastinating all the time and so it's like, you feel like you want to get stuff done. You feel like, I'm not getting anything done. We want more momentum. We want this movement. Mars is here in Libra, and Mars is about action and sometimes aggression, but getting stuff done. So people feel this angst, this like, they want to do stuff, right? But Mars being in Libra, it's not the best energy for Mars. Mars enjoys fire sign energy and Aries energy. So Libra is the exact opposite of that. We're having to look at things in a more balanced way, balanced approach. The Sun being in Libra with Mars and Mercury in retrograde, it feels imbalanced. So our communication has been off with others. The way we think or the way we see things, it's like it's been so hard to come to agreements with people or just see things from the same point of view. Very difficult. And this is all for a reason, of course. But now, Pluto, the ruler of death and rebirth and transformation and the destroyer of things, has come back direct and I want you to think about 
where you were in your life when we had that big full moon in Scorpio, when Pluto retrograded. I believe the date was April 26th. Think back, if you will, because that full moon was so powerful and so dark and destructive and people were breaking up, people were getting violent, people were uh, going off the deep end as far as jealousy and feeling crazed. Um, so Pluto just came back direct and the moon was in Scorpio. Yeah. So I felt in my own life kind of a revisiting of those things from April. Where were you at the end of April? What kind of decisions were you making? Are those things coming back up for you now with all these retrogrades? Pluto coming back direct, maybe wanted to talk about it again. How do you feel about it now? Are you still in the same place that you were? Did you put it into any of those things? And it doesn't have to be an end to a relationship or a career or a major change, but maybe just an end to a phase or an end to um, an argument that you have repetitively. That kind of energy came back up over this last week with the new moon, which is a dark energy. It's good because it's uh, new beginnings and you can manifest new things and think about intentions that you want to set for the month. But at the same time, when there's no moon, there's no light, right? So it's kind of like a darkness, more shadowy, darker sides of ourselves come out. We feel differently about things emotionally when there's no moon. Um, and I really hadn't had that much hope. I don't mean like for the future, but just it was just so dark for the last month or so because everything came to a halt. Six planets in retrograde. Um, so specifically when Mercury retrograded, then it was like, oh my gosh, so much energy. So this is the plus side for this month of October. You're going to start see the momentum picking up. It already started. The energy feels a little bit lighter since Pluto came direct on Wednesday. See if you feel this and notice this, okay? Probably have. Death and rebirth, that sort of thing you would have witnessed around that time as well. In the news, whatever, large or small scale, we witness these things with the planets. If you pay attention, you'll see tomorrow, on October 10th, Saturn comes direct. So, don't be surprised if you see more restrictions or on the opposite side we could see a glimmer of hope a glimmer of karma the clap back right that's what I'm that's what I'm hoping for here Saturn's major clap back please Saturn and we may not fully see it until Jupiter comes direct and that will happen on October 18th. It will be direct. So on the 18th, we'll have Pluto back, we'll have Saturn back, and then Jupiter comes in to expand on that. And between now and then, on the 13th, I think, Mercury comes direct. So we'll get a sense of clarity We'll see what Saturn's been doing. He's been up to something, okay? And we're gonna start to see it. But then we'll really see when Jupiter expands on that. After the 18th, you will feel like things just start moving forward, okay? I know how you guys feel because I've been feeling the same way, where you feel like you're not doing enough, things need to get done, somehow you don't have the energy to do it, and we've been so exhausted, right? Constantly jumping from one thing to the next, all these things popping up, and we haven't had the energy. We haven't had the planets to back us. The planets, six of them, have been asking us to look back, reassess again. That's what retrogrades are for. What could you have done differently? What do you want to change now that you know? 
all this energy that you've had pent up for the last month that you couldn't move forward no matter how you tried, how do you feel about it now? How do you wish you'd gone about it? Can you make the changes now? I want you to think about the big major changes that have happened over the last year for you. If you haven't made any major changes, then now, after October 18th, may be a good time if you are one of the ones who've been thinking about something for a really long time and just kind of waiting for the right moment, it would be a good time to focus on those things after October 18th and they could move forward positively. However, if you are one of the ones who have had change after change after change, maybe not up to you, maybe it was just imposed upon you from the universe or your surroundings or whatever, things changing rapidly for you, this time will come in and hopefully be a breath of fresh air where you will feel lighter, but you won't be as stressed out. You won't feel as bad or, or as hard on yourself about what you didn't get done or how you haven't been being active or feeling like, why can't I move? <laughs> That's been the issue. So now movement returns. Now it's like a full, full good breath of fresh air. So what I'm hoping for is a major clapback. This is what I'm hoping I'm intending for the universe to just bring it in for humanity. Bring it hard with Saturn. Karma galore. Good or bad. Opportunities and blessings from Jupiter and the expansion of Mars energy. Aggressive energy once we get to October 20th which is the full moon in Aries okay that's gonna be possible violence hopefully not but at least it's pressure and I want that pressure to go towards positive things so positive peaceful protests um, we're gonna see people getting angry we have to be careful when we're speaking, especially until Mercury comes fully direct, but even after there's like a three week post shadow period where communication will still be iffy. Libra is so serious when it comes to communication. Okay, well, meanwhile all this is happening, Venus is in Sagittarius. And Venus likes being in Sagittarius um, because Venus likes to hang out with Jupiter and they do well together and Jupiter rules Sagittarius. So even though Jupiter is in Aquarius right now, Sagittarius has this energy of competitiveness and fun and spontaneity and passion and a search for truth. So Venus is going to come in with love, maybe more money, maybe more risk taking as far as beauty is concerned. You may want to cut your hair, try something new for fall, purchase something for yourself and kind of reward yourself a little bit you will see the karmic clap, clap back, the clap back of Saturn. That's what I'm calling this video because Saturn rules karma and we're dealing with so much Uranian energy. We have Uranus and Taurus and it's been there. It's going to continue to be there for the next few years. And this is about value. I talk about this all the time, but what do you value in yourself? what you have in your life and are those things something worthwhile to you still? Um, are they meaningful to you as they were as much as they were years ago? So Taurus is very practical and so this is about different ways of making money, different ways of, of looking at your own value and the things that are more practical in life. Uh, learning to grow your own food because food shortages are coming. Learning uh, to make your own clothes or just staying more physically fit. Thinking outside of the box. All of those things are very Iranian and it's about freedom. So how can we break away from the system, break away from this money ruled greedy system and create a place that has more comfort physically for us that is something we can semi-control. We can't control much right now. But think of the skills that you can grow and add value to your life, real value, like food, okay? Not money. Money can go at any time. 
the dollar is on its way out. Who knows what's happening with crypto? Be very careful with money at this time, okay? The systems are crumbling. They've been crumbling. We're witnessing it. We're witnessing the crumbling of government institutions worldwide and money. Impending doom when it comes to debt. So instead of thinking of all that crap from this matrix that we live in, let's think about and focus on our individual realms, staying in the highest vibration that we can, creating this value within ourselves and our communities that kind of are unique, where you can offer a skill, where you could maybe trade or barter. Think about preparing your families and stocking up on food and water and the things that really will hold value to you when nothing else that we think matters now does. So it's not going to matter. So the energy is moving forward. It's going to be delightful. Okay. You will see the shift. You will see the change more specifically after October 18th, but I'm guaranteed Saturn is making moves tomorrow. May not have the backup of Jupiter yet, may not have the information or communication or understanding yet of Mercury, but when they both come back direct after October 18th, things will have shifted, major changes on the world stage or whatever. And I'm hoping it's a positive clapback. I'm hoping for this karma to just come in and bust some heads in the government. Yes, I said it to the authorities for trying to take way too much power than what they deserve. Freedom is so important, you know, and we're going to witness things. Don't, you probably shouldn't go out and do protests and things on the 20th on that full moon in Aries because the energy will be ignited. Mars and Libra uh, will be opposing. So uh, that's going to be a clash of sorts and I, I wouldn't be involved in anything that's huge or um, protests or things like that. I would stay home that day and try not to get in arguments with your friends or family. But Jupiter's going to bring you something and Saturn is bringing it too and whether it's good or bad or however you envision it at first, it will end up as good as your highest good always. Let's intend on having the best October ever. Things are going to move fast. They're already moving fast even though we feel like we're moving slow. Everything seems to just be happening around us, right? And we feel like we can't really control it. So let's kind of let go for a bit and surrender, especially that feeling of urgency or like you haven't done enough because it kind of means maybe you're not supposed to be doing those things. Those ideas you had the last couple months that you thought, oh yeah, this is something I've never thought of doing before, but now's the best time to do it. That wasn't a good idea. That wasn't good. We all had those ideas and we've been jumping timelines. So I think in one timeline, maybe it was a good idea. And then we all jumped into a timeline where, mm, yeah, that's not going to happen. Plus we didn't have the planets for backup. So now the things you should be working on are the things you've wanted all along, the unfinished projects, the things that you've wanted for years that you started, but kind of procrastinated on. And you thought, well, maybe I should do this instead or new business idea, new partnership. I don't feel like this is something I like. So let me try something different. No. We're going to go back to the basics, and that's what I'm going to say for now, and I'm going to do that too. Uh, if you all of a sudden thought, I'm going to throw all caution to the wind and jump into this one thing right now that I've never done before, and there's all these reasons why I shouldn't, but I'm just going to go for it. That's not the thing to do. The thing to do is the thing you know in your heart that you're passionate about, that you've wanted for a really long time, that maybe you put on the back burner because it wasn't bringing you money or it wasn't bringing you emotional fulfillment at that time. Now is the time to really go for those things because Saturn will reward time and effort put into things and Jupiter will bring new opportunities and blessings. So bless you all. Have a great October and I'll see you guys in the next one.